anyone's going to say that we're not working. You know, <clears throat> we... Can you turn me up? I can't hear myself. Really? I can't hear myself. You're at 10. Well, something's wrong with your thing. Well, I use the one... I can hear me. I can't hear myself. I'm using... I can't feel my face when I'm with you. I'm using the thing... Did you put it in? Did you, oh, wait, it's not you've on. You've got to turn the <laughs> fucking microphone on. I had it on earlier. You know, I must have just licked my hand. You. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. My voice Someone is, fucked your cousin in your family. Why do you say that? Because you're stupid. All right. Didn't your cousins fuck each other? Let's start the show. <laughs> <laughs> I dreamed. You, did you ever have one of those dreams? Michael Matthews was in it, and I had the, and I dreamed that like I w- not that I was playing Sally Bowles, but I was Sally Bowles in Cabaret. Um, and and uh, strangely enough, Devin Nunez <laughs> was in it, hand to God, and he was running around. And he's like, "Oh my God, I did something really bad." Blah 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 blah. Does everyone hate me? And he had a sweater on that was really cute. And I woke up and I was like, why was Devin Nunez in my dr- We're being filmed. I'm so sorry. That, <laughs> that honestly happened. I dreamed you, last night that I was Sally Bowles in Cabaret. You have to stop taking Ativan. <laughs> you have to stop it. Has that it. been a thing? Adderall. No, what, what, is, what do people take to sleep? Ativan. Or, I don't know. Apoquel. Oh, no. That's what my dog <laughs> takes for itching. <laughs> It's something like that. You're an idiot. Oh, God, everybody. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Welcome to, to TV, TV Tea time. time. Can you settle? You're making mic noises because you can't settle. <laughs> I am. I'm like my Cover yourself with around. your shawl and settle in. It's time. You're right. I can't stop making mic noises. Um, you know what? It would help if this was not so droopy. The microphone cord is long so you can... Ex- ex- I'm settled now. Let's move on. Hello. <sighs> Welcome to TV. Hello, Time. everybody. How are you? I'm greeting people, and I'm and I'm waiting to hear them say hello. Well, they're that's, not that's what because you do. they're listening. Um, how is everyone <laughs> today? Hope you're doing good. <sighs> We're bombing Syria. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm just telling you how I am. Okay. Well, you know what? It's time for our first segment. You know, let's for two. T for you. Mm-hmm. Tea for you, for the because love this is for you of God. Oh wait, no, that's feud. Be sure to listen to the feud podcast. <laughs> if you're not listening to that, self for most. All right, let's go to episode eight here. Our comments. Alice Cooper comes through. All right, we've got no. Stop, stop your slurping. No one wants to know. We've got my kissing noises. We've got. Oh no! What just happened? I didn't see this. <sighs> Read this comment from Khalid Watson. Okay. I didn't see that. Here we go. Where's Khalid Watson? Oh, no! <laughs> Khalid! God damn you! Khalid just says, review Fire Island. Hash, no, dash, from a New Yorker. That does not help my cause. I do that not want to review this fucking show. That's like we're up to six now. We said if we had ten people <sighs> that told us to review that show... Watch our video at the end of this where we talk about Logo's new show, Fire Island. If you want us like, to review that shit show, we will. I'm but we're be, not doing it without interest. I'm going to be so uncomfortable. I'm going to hate happens. it so much. I'll do it. But I'm going to have to be ripped to do it. And that's, and diff- I have, and that's I have, different from what other episode. <laughs> I have inside information about at least two of those cast members. Someone came inside you? <laughs> no. You're disgusting. Well, I'm just going by what you Inside talk info. About. Mm-hmm. By info, he means, uh-uh. <laughs> All right, we've got... You know what? Some, I know... Some, there are some people I know who I've not had sex with. And it's, it's hard true. to believe, because you're, you're normally... That's how you know people. Our next uh, comment in T for you, T for two. We, T for... God, I hate you. <laughs> I want to, I wanna like, like, throw you through a TV. Like, T for two, T for you. Like, what, does that happen in a Freddy Krueger movie? <laughs> or is that in Gremlins, where someone gets thrown through a TV? I think it's in a Freddy, I think it's in is a it Nightmare Grim- on Elm Street bing, movie. Bing, 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 b
uh, Freddy Krueger is. Um, no, it's like uh, 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 one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, shuttles of horn. <laughs> Read it, goddamn Five, you. Six, ah! suck your dicks. dicks. Okay. Seven, dicks. eight. You'll suck their dicks. You're not straight. <laughs> Nine, ten. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Okay, we have one more comment. Go back to it, cult, you cunt. This is from. I'm sorry, I just called you a cunt. <laughs> That's not a good word. This is from C. Denning. Eight. Cat Denning. Cat Denning's again. Cat Denning. Did. Totally with you guys on the construction orgy. Yes. Yes, Cat. Nothing says CW show. I've never show. said this before, but yeah. Yes. Nothing, I feel gross when I do it. Nothing says CW show like a bunch of 25 year olds playing teenage shirt teenagers shirtless while working construction. You know what? True. They <laughs> never very, said. I was just <laughs> about to say that very thing. <laughs> Get out of my head, queen. Get out of my head. Do, 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 and into my car. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm right here just watching that's objectively good, like this. That's a good Cabaret Gay song. No, it's not. I think we should do it. You know, all for right. those of you who, who are wondering, we reference Cabaret Gay all the time. We'll put up a Cabaret Gay clip. We'll find one. Mm, Maybe not. It's we can't under, have it. It's under on. rights. It is under rights. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff we do. There's a lot of stuff we do that's not. Right, appropriate. All right, we're gonna go. Oh, on I'm to excited! Work. I'm excited about this episode because I'm drinking. I'm a so diet fucking Dr. tired. A diet Dr Pepper cherry with the Wonder Woman can. <laughs> this episode of TVT Time is sponsored by the new Wonder Woman. No, it's movie. not. DC I want to destroy it. Coming out June second. You know what? Fucking, fucking help us out, DC Comics. If you're actually gonna pimp it, Thera Kane contacted me. By the way, uh, but, no, Thera they didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. But there, Kane, I'm available. <laughs> There's that, you meet some old woman in Judith, uh, or in Florida, <laughs> named Judith called Thera you. Kane, I'm available. I'm available for spokesperson. <laughs> you know what? That th- Nix knows that. You know what? I I'm referring to people by their like online names it's now. True. You know what? I did buy a Thera Kane after you use yours. It's kind of amazing. I told you. Although mine looks like a weird sex toy, but it, I use it just for my back. Yeah. Just for your bag, in quotes. Back. All right. Um, all right let's, let's get to the fucking to show. All right. Okay. It is time. Riverdale. This show was called Le Grand Illusion. Which, that was never referenced. Which, no, it wasn't. But which translates to that? the big illusion. Or grand illusion. I guess the big. You don't know French. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> I think, didn't you take French and you were terrible at it? Um, no, I know you can't fucking speak it to save no, your mother's I had to, life. I had to take French diction. Oh God, let's move on. I can't deal with any more talk about French diction. Ça soir tout de son Elise ne passe ne point passe. Okay, sorry. Now you know we just sang. I just sang a French art song, and Literally, it was bad. Everybody just. Clicked off. Yes, like, I know. So the only person gets, to, gets the what you're fucking supposed to do is Clint. Giving, who's who's telling just going to read the telling, fuck out of us? He's telling me how to how to actually French say diction. it. Because I think Clint is smarter than both of us. Oh, I agree. Okay, so um, just say something so I can judge you. Okay, let's talk about our tea bags. Okay. All right. Here's my first tea bag. All right. You go first. I actually, if you want to go first, no, you okay. go first. So my first. Well, yeah, you just told me to say something. That's I why know. I'm going first. All right. My first tea bag is already in the first three minutes. We see Ronnie lecturing Hermione Lodge <laughs> about how what she should fucking do with Hiram and all this bullshit. And I'm she like, she needs to get it together. She needs to be an adult. <laughs> She's a parented. She is a parented parent, and it's it's. Obnoxious. I wish she was fat because then she would at least go to Weight <sighs> Watchers. She's so thin and like, and she looks like she almost looks like she's sisters with her daughter. It's annoying. I just wish she was fat so she could go to Weight Watchers and get a sponsor and gain responsibility for things. Because those women, I have a friend who does that, and that shit is real. It's like AA. They get you in control of your <laughs> life. Or I wish she was not fat or fat or an alcoholic on this character. She needs something. She needs, something. I'm, I'm, she needs a higher power. She, there, that character is a piece of shit, honestly. And I'm not saying that the character itself was designed that way. 
And I'm not saying the actress is doing that. I'm just saying there's nothing there. Literally, you'll have Ronnie talk to her, and she'll be like, Mom, blah, blah, blah. And then Ronnie walks away, and then it cuts to her going, mm. Yeah, she's it's like really Pat face. Too. Like, mm, please just help us. And I don't think it's the actress. I, I think it's I, the writing. I literally wrote I Hermione, the... Hermione, Hermione, Hermione. I think it's the writing. I We, we need to – listen, writers – We've got to find something to do yeah. with her. We need to find something. She, we to need, do. or we need to figure out why she's so fucking like uh, she just doesn't know what she wants to do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, Your tea bag. Uh, I'm, and I've referred to this before, but I'm, I'm, I'm brought back to it again. A reprise. Uh, a reprise, if you will. <laughs> uh, the styling, um, like. It, we know we're not – we're in 2017, but the styling, like even like uh, Alice Cooper's little flower she had on her thing, mm-hmm. it feels very 50s and 60s. Mm-hmm. Veronica's like jeweled collar and everything mm-hmm. looks very 50s and 60s. The styling on this show is so fucking creative and on point that I'm in love with whoever does the styling. So. It is great. It's great. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, it, but strangely enough, it only seems to happen to the women. <laughs> Well, um, what are you going to put the No, I mean that's I mean Jughead is kind of put in sweaters and things, but the women are impeccably styled. Archie's just put in something tight. He is, which I have no complaints about. None. None. Um none. Speaking Can we of, talk about that Instagram There pic? was a certain Instagram pic oh, with Lord. his head was like her his hair was like high. You know what? I'm going to edit. The resolution was bad. I'm going to edit it and, and like throw the picture right now. So if yeah, you're let's look, hope so. If you're watching the show, the picture's on the screen right now. Now look at this. Literally, his body as, as is I like ridiculous. Jake, his cum gutters have cum gutters. They do. And if you don't know what cum gutters are, Google it. Look it up. Google it. Google it. It'll just take you to a gay porn site. <laughs> <laughs> And you'll go, oh, God. God. Like my friend said, why are there men stacked up in the corner? <laughs> oh, Lord. Just stacked up on top stacked. of stacked and stacked and stacked. Oh. Just fucking each other. Now I want to go to a Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> Smothered and covered. Mm. Anyway. Well, all right. That's mine. All right. Tea bag number three. This is going to be a dirty episode. I no, it's not. Tell. Okay, so Cheryl begs Archie to go to this tree tapping <laughs> ceremony, which honestly sounds like he's going to tap that. I thought he would like, like tap that. Sounds ass. like sounds pig di- picking. It sounds dirty, doesn't it? Tree tapping. I come saw, to our tree tapping. Not, yeah, bing, bing, bing. This, I don't think it's. They, I think they say tree tapping. You said tree tapping. You know what? They have some gross. relatives that probably say tapping. It just seems a little unrealistic. But anyway, so she begs him to come, and they really try to make a big dramatic moment about her hammering something into the tree and tapping it to make maple syrup come out. Well, so that music builds, and she finally does it. And then when she taps it into the tree, I don't know. I guess the music composer on this episode, like, <laughs> went on vacation. Yes. But it was they- like, the music supervisor chose it was the, a terrible song. It was the most royalty free like music. It, it stock <laughs> music. It sounded like you know a proactive commercial where you yes! have acne. It totally they, sounded like you know and the, the when after they, sound after when they when have they, like, when they and now when they get when they don't have a piece of face anymore. Yes. That's how the music like, sounded. Do, 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 it's do, a bright do, 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 do. I look I good. Men wanna fuck me now. Men wanna fuck my face. Okay, I'm going to piggyback on that for sure, my next, next one. Sure, next bag. And say that the 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 tree tapping, as you called it, mm-hmm. was kind of like a red party. And cuz everyone was wearing red and every there was a oh. lot of gingers, way too many gingers, and we know how I feel about Pause. that. Have you ever heard that Lori Morgan sir- song, I'm looking for something in red? No. Oh, uh, anyway, okay. what I was going to say <laughs> Good song. Good song. Shut up. Um, instead of, so like they're having a red party and it's kind of like the white party in Palm Springs, except they're wearing a lot more clothes and there's less poppers and drugs. Yes. And no um, one has Coke under their nose that's <laughs> visible. And probably a lot of people don't get HIV that night. Wow. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I am so sorry. That's not funny. We've learned that years ago. That is not funny. 
I'm not. I'm not editing. This. <laughs> wow, you are a whore. You are a monster. You know what, people? People. That, that's the white party. I'm just. I'm just stating the facts. Anyway, <laughs> oh there's God. less poppers in meth. Anyway, the red party was ex- was fun. That's fine. <laughs> Follow that. Follow that, you whore. <sighs> All right. I want to. I would. So this guy. I kind of thought about this. Oh, um, I thought about whenever they do this. This is tea bag. One, three. Two, three, four. Five. Five for you. So whenever they, the scene was, you even commented on how beautiful that cherry pie was. Oh, another red thing. Another red thing. Yes, a red was a It was big, either cherry or raspberry. I'm not sure. Um, but um, when Alice Cooper, did Alice Cooper sing, she's my cherry pie? No, that's Warrant. I don't know how I pulled, wow. I don't know where I pulled wow. that shit out from, but I just did. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, so. Um, Child of the 80s. But then the, Archie just got back from the Blossom I mean, Ball. I mean, 1920s. I mean. You mean 70s. I mean, I'm I'm only 28. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> pretty bird. Oh, God. Come on, keep going on. But someone told me I didn't look my age today. I want you to pay him. <laughs> he was my waiter. There we are. So, there we are, just waiting for a fucking tip. So, anyway, and so Archie's already been to the Blossom Ball, and now he's at the Coopers. Blossom Ball. Blossom Ball. Having this thing. And I just am like. Won't you come with me to the Blossom Ball? I know high school kids are stupid. I they was are. stupid in high school. I bet we, you were. We well, we've already were. talked about the quality of your education in high school. We all were, But common sense, we all were what you read? Dumb. What you read in your senior year? Uh, Horton, here's a who? <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> so, but here's the deal. It's, Archie really can't be that dumb. Literally, this is like he's, he's not, being manipulated he's not by everybody. He's he's honestly this is this sounds terrible to say, and I really do believe this. Um, the active he's not an active character. He is he's kind of pushed around. The yes. active characters are Veronica, Betty, Jughead, Archie is kind and of Cheryl. forced well, and, some- and Cheryl, and and he is kind of forced into whatever situation he needs to be. He's a he's ping the, pong ball. He's the straight man in the group. Ha <laughs> ha, straight man. <laughs> Ooh, not a good, not a good Ooh. podcast for this to be on. Um, anyway, no, that's just yeah, that's that's, it. that's how the character. I'm a written. little annoyed by it. Uh, welcome to Dawson's Creek. Do you remember Dawson's Creek? Dawson we, was we, the same thing. We couldn't watch Dawson's Creek because it was. Why not? Because what network did that come Teenage on? Teenage Sex, what? CW. Was it CW? Because uh, 90210 or was. Or now the WB. It used what, to be the WB. Nano, oh, the WB. And 90210 was WB too, right? No, that was Fox. Um, what? I'm just like coming up with the answers tonight. You're welcome. Well, in Lone Grove, Oklahoma, we didn't get Fox um, or the CW um, because, um, because people um, petitioned that it was un- not religious and Satan type of TV. So our cable company um, did not allow us to have it. It's Yeehaw! Pretty much. I don't think we got it until I was like a senior in high school. Senior in high school. That was a very sad country story. It was. It was. Um, what's my next one? Because I need I need to weep for you. Um, uh, I Cheryl had the best quotes of this episode. She did, and there were two of them I want to talk about. Sure. Um, uh, when she when she when she knocks on uh, Archie's door and talks to Dylan McKay and says, "Oh, Mr. Andrews, you're looking extremely dilfy today." Boy, ain't that the truth? That's the truth every fucking day. I mean, every um, episode, literally, Jake asks chuckles at him. Like yours doesn't. I think he's cute, but you. I love him. Um, he loves a skinny man brooding with a beard. Oh, fuck, you're not kidding. That sounded so that, gross. Wow. Oh that was like, fuck. That was really. It was just gross. Like, like guttural, like guttural and yeah. visceral. It was really oh, just like fuck. it was like your ass opened up. And said, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> Feed me. It was disgusting. I'm gonna keep wow, talking. Wow, that was real. I just got an insight <laughs> into your life, and I'm not happy about it. Wow, that's just wow. 
Wow. Okay, I'm going to go with my second quote. Wow. It's that like you is... just like got done doing modern <laughs> dance and you felt really in touch with like your uterus. And you're just like, yeah, fuck. Like, Spread eagle. Fuck. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop. Wow. Shut up. I'm going to start talking. Um, and uh, the next quote that Cheryl had that I liked, wow. which is already – this smells weird. Um, uh, is that good. Cheryl said my claustrophobia acts up in small houses? That's pretty. That was pretty good. <laughs> Fantastic. You know what's great about that actress is that I fucking love her. Sometimes she says things and she's being shady, but the way she said that line was totally like that was real to her. Madeline Patch, come on our show. Oh my god. If you were on our show, all we would do is just gush about you the whole time. I might pet your hair. It's so pretty. I, I would she, keep him away from your hair. What would she let me do her makeup? Uh, she would tell that's, you to keep the fuck away from her. No, that's that's how I know if you're listening. No, because like honestly, with women, you're kind of creepy, and you no, get you no. like you I'm like touch them too much. No, you know what? Women yeah, need, I've seen women get creeped out you know by what? you. Most women get shit from men. I've been so in, I've been in the grocery store with you before. You know what? People like to be told in the grocery store that they're pretty because their husbands. I've been just in the grocery store with you where you said you are pretty, and they look like you're about to rob them. I don't agree with that. I think it's it's weird. He just talks to everyone, and everyone's Tell like, make, "Who Tell is this friends. like fucking queen talking to me?" Tell me and why? But Cheryl, Madeline Patch, if you do come Patch on, Patch, I don't know your last name, but that's fine. But if she does come on the show, <sighs> I will do her makeup. You know, that's how I know that women are pretty because I don't want to have sex with them. But if I ever tell you out there, listeners, that I want to do your makeup, I realized that about ten years ago. I went, "Oh." That's how I know. When or it means pretty. you need help. <laughs> Next no, no. question. Next. Okay. Tea bag. Now you might be one talking about this too. I'll. 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 You know parry. what? I see on your list, and I think it's time to talk about Veronica and the pearls. Fine. That that was off my list, but I will find something. No, else to I talk think. About. No, I think we both. I think it's two tea bags worthy because it was kind of a moment in the double show. Bag double bag. Double bag. Double bag. Harmonizing, give us that. It's true. Go um, for it. Do, well, I'll let you go ahead. You talk. I know you love Ronnie. How, you talk about the pearls. How, how polite. Um. So she's done with her dad. Done. And in done. slow mo, she goes to the bathroom, and she literally just her pearls like fall, and it says "great effect," which they've saved up until now. Yes. And I. Grab my chest when it you happened. You clutched your pearls. I clutched my actual pearls. And which she, and also too, I think what was more meaningful because earlier in the episode, she when she's giving stuff to Ethel, she says these pearls were given to me by my father. That's why I wear them. Which was we we both we got a mm, yes. We were mm, like ooh there mm, because honestly, oh I my. love I love that they explained yes. it because in 2017, no girl ooh, in high no one, school no one wears, wears pearls. pearls every day. And so, we have unless a, you're at some fucked up Catholic high school where your dad fucks you, sorry, you're, just, you're dark. <laughs> you're like <laughs> Ethel's fucking poem tonight. That poem was in the upside down world. That was some dark shit, Barb. <laughs> she was she was she was in the pool when she wrote that. It was it mm-hmm. was in the pool. But yes, yes, I um finish what you're trying to say about your. No, I was just going to say that it was, it was nice to have meaning behind that. Also, too, you know, it's. They, I want to talk to the, somebody in the prop department because those just like flew everywhere. So like Cinderella's pearls. It was, no, it was it was it was computer done. It was oh animated. because when I try try to take you're off an idiot. No, you're, but when someone you're a fucking idiot. No, it's just it was confused me because when I someone gives me a pearl necklace, it doesn't come off that easily. <laughs> it's much it's stickier. It just kind of stays there. That was a gay joke. For everyone out there Mm -hmm. About a pearl necklace Which was the cheapest Gay joke (laughs) you've ever heard You know what So I'm gonna move on I bet Like don't laugh at that Don't laugh at that I bet Gary liked it Gary's our biggest fan Gary I hope you did like that I love Gary He is very nice But honestly He tweeted us Honestly That's the cheapest gay joke And I'm not gonna stand for it So I'm gonna move on With my last one That I am I am living For the acting From Madchen Amick uh, who is Betty's mother? Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper. School's out for summer! 
was a great Alice Cooper. Anyway, um, by great if you mean ear pee, ear piercing, <laughs> ear peeing. It sounded like um, a a hawk crying in the desert <laughs> about to eat a snake. Oh, oh, oh! No, that was kind of a gay. Ah! That was a gay owl. You just went who, 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 who? No, ho, ho. <laughs> More like Cher is an owl. Ho, ho. Hoot, hoot, I'm Shell the Owl. Who? <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop now. That was, that, was that was stupid. That was stupid. And I'm the first to say when something is stupid. Uh, I like that. Unlike though. you. I like it when um, you're silly. So, Betty's mom yes. is, is slaying it in, like, best supporting actor right she now. She is, Actress. like... Especially Slaying after last the fuck week. fuck out of it. We know what the fuck this character is doing. Oh, oh I, I love, love her. her. I lo- I'm living for her, and I love to see her on, and, I, I and would, I'm rooting for her, too. Yes, Madeline I'm wanting, Patch, I, come on our show. Matt Shinamic. You know what? They both sound similar. So <laughs> Madeline and no, they Matt don't. Shinamic. They don't. You come on they our don't. show. They don't. God, I'm the only one who can stop this. She's real pretty. I saw pictures when they're, she's. She was in Twin Peaks, which you never watched, but, um. Oh. Yeah, she was a teenager on Twin Peaks. Oh. Don't She's say oh because it makes you look sound even stupider. But that's fine. Again, um, we couldn't watch Twin Peaks. People didn't watch that long ago. But no, that was like they that what, cat were you, allowed, you were only allowed to watch Hee Haw. Pretty much. We got Channel 10, K12. And Donahue. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Donahue. Mm-hmm. And a little bit of Oprah. But Sally only, Jesse. only some of the episodes. Sally Jesse. And maybe Inside Edition. No, Entertainment Tonight. Oh, that's true. Um, so what's your tea leaves? No, we still have one more because you went first. Remember we switched. We have one more tea bag, I think. Just fucking finish it. Oh, you know what I have to say? I love, you know, what this show does really well is they show that like. Is it four in the morning? Yeah, pretty much. It's it not just like it. families all having the same hair color that makes them. But literally, and we don't see Where much. are we even going? Well, I like that but families almost have the same behavioral patterns too. And they really talk about it's hard to break out of that. Meaning this means wrap it up. <sighs> meaning dark Ethel over there with your <laughs> gross humor. I like how like we find out Polly is actually at the Blossoms house because basically all of the Coopers are reporters. They're always trying to like dig for you know dirt. that is quite wise. So thank you for that. I like it. I like that they're doing that. They did that with the Blossoms. What are your tea leaves? They're doing the Archies. That was that was a small point though. My <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry, I'm going to be a film nerd thing. That last shot of a Cheryl in her bedroom scratching their That pictures, was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. That's all I want to say. Okay, my tea leave is, I think, because I do trust the writers on this show, because remember uh, four episodes ago when we were saying we hate Alice Cooper? Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? I We've think, been rewarded by that. I think they are building Hermione Lodge. I think she's going to have... I don't think she killed Jason Blossom, but I feel like there's going to be an epic fall for her, either at the last episode or somewhere that let's hope so. Episode. I think they are they are prepping this character because if you notice, even at the end of every episode, something happens with her. Like the, even if they don't talk about her much, they always at the end say, "Hey, by the way, Hermione's doing this, and this is fucking up her life." Hmm. I think they're going to prepare a fall for her. That's my tea leaf. You know what? I wouldn't mind watching that happen because I don't really like the character. Well, I want to be interested in it. I like the actress. I don't like the character. Um, I'm kind of that way, too. Uh, I want to talk about... Talk about, talk about. I just said talk about, and you did <laughs> not need to... God damn. You know what? Can we talk about motorcycles tonight? <laughs> There are so many fucking We've had motorcycles. a lot of motorcycles outside my you know, apartment, and it is rude. You know what? If, if, you, you, if anyone out there drives a motorcycle, a motor Harley, and you just gun it. You are noise pollution, and it's offensive. And you're a fucker. Get an electric bike. Also known as a moped. <laughs> oh. Um, I, just because of the preview, I'm dying to see Molly Ringwald as KJ Appa's slash... <laughs> Archie's mother. I am dying I'm to see dying because Archie shirtless she's with beer thrown on him. On <laughs> with cum just like licking onto his face. Wow, you were just like <laughs> you. When's the last time you had sex? 
You need to go sit on a fire hydrant because you are like a dog in heat or a cat. Just like, <laughs> wow. All right, I'm going to end this episode. Wow. This is too much already. Wow. Okay, um, everybody, you know the drill. Review this show on iTunes if you're listening to it. Listen to the Feud podcast. Let We're working know. our fucking asses off on yeah, that one. Let us know if you want us to watch that fucking logo. I know we're fucking asking a logo. lot of you, but we're giving a lot to you. <laughs> Hopefully we are giving a lot. I sang in an Easter service talking about Christ's crucifixion tonight. And that's why nobody's been giving it to Jake. <laughs> so let's hope that happens by next episode. Yes. Um, please review us. Please give us a review. I always start emailing people. I'm just going to ask. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, everybody. We love you. Bye. Bye.